وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى I'm now going to go into the fifth contradiction that many of us fall into and that is some of us we don't like staying in the masjid for too long we don't like it we don't want to be in the masjid we hate it rather if the imam who's meant to lead the salah is one or two minutes late, we get agitated and nervous and aggravated and upset and we become very, honey, some of us even become very abusive. And you see that very common in many masajids. To the extent some people, if the imam is one or two minutes late, they ask another person to lead the salah. He goes, okay, can you just lead the prayer, please? This guy is taking too long. But those same people, when they go to restaurants, they go to places where they sit with their friends and they socialize with their friends. You find that they sit there for hours and hours. I remember a, a particular situation where I was with a particular member, family member, and we went out and we went to the mystery. And the Imam, of course, came a bit late, one or two minutes late. And what happened was the uh, person I was with became very angry and agitated. Well, what's the, why is he taking for so? Why is he taking too long for? Where? I mean, yeah, and he's standing up. So he asked another person, can you lead a prayer? Lead the prayer. You know, this is subhanAllah, what is this? Muslims should look at the time. Muslims should uh, uh, yani give importance to the time. So he said that about the Imam. The Imam finally came out. I'm watching the situation. And after that, me and the family member, we went, we went together and we sat somewhere. And we were waiting for someone to come. In the meantime, we were talking. Of course, other family members were there. Other people were there. The person we were waiting for took two hours to come to us. Two hours. This family member that I was with did not get upset, did not flinch, did not get annoyed at all. Was not even, he had friends to talk to, he was laughing, he was talking about politics, he was talking about this and that. The issue of the salah, like in waiting there and just, yani not, you know, just doing dhikr and benefiting from this time was very hard on him. And it reminds me of the hadith that Imam Muslim narrated in his sahih. Sorry, Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim both narrated in their sahih. That the Prophet وسلم, he said, لا يزال أحدكم في صلاة That a person is in prayer. ما دامت الصلاة تحبسه As long as the prayer is imprisoning you. If you're in the masjid waiting for salah, you are in a state of salah because you're waiting for a prayer. There's nothing else. لا يمنعه أن ينقلب إلى أهل إلا الصلاة There's nothing stopping you to go to your family except a prayer. You are in a state of prayer. Bukhari and Muslim both narrated this hadith. In other words, those two minutes that we were waiting for the Imam, we were in a state of Salah. We were getting rewarded for waiting. Whereas when we were sitting in the coffee shop or in the restaurant waiting for that person for two hours, there's no reward. That's a contradiction. That's a clear cut contradiction. And we need to realize these things and be aware of what we're doing here. We can't stay in the masjid for too long, but we can stay and wait in gatherings where we're socializing with our friends and we're laughing, we're playing games. Yani, all of that is fine. 10 hours, 12 hours. Yani, people sit in restaurants and talk about politics for hours on end. But in the masjid, they won't wait. They literally come in when they think the Imam's going to say Allahu Akbar. And as soon as the Imam says, Assalamu Alaikum, Assalamu Alaikum, before the Imam even can turn his back, they've gone. They've left the masjid. Those are the good ones, by the way. Those are the ones who pray in the masjid. Those are the ones who pray in the masjid, who know the importance of praying in the masjid. I'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala. Anything I might have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaytan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you 
on the Day of Judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the Deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.